Hello and welcome to this video presenting, step by step, an example project made up of a CP600 Eco panel, used in conjunction with an AC500 Eco PLC. In this video, we would like to show you briefly, how to integrate easily the CP600 Eco panel into an AC500 Eco PLC system, using our engineering software tools available. In this example, the integrated Ethernet port-based TCP IP interface present on the both devices will be used. And the protocol ABB code says Ethernet will be used to communicate between the panel and the PLC. It is a must to bring both the PLC and the panel's IP addresses to the same IP group, including the subnet masks. For the AC500 Eco CPU, the IP address configured by default will be used. For the CP600 Eco panel, one need to define and configure this appropriate IP address directly on panel system settings. At first, the panel needs to be powered by adapted 24 volts DC, ensure that this power supply has enough power capacity for the operation of the equipment. The panel must always be grounded to earth, in order to limit the effects of noise due to electromagnetic interference on the control system. As shown on the screen, use the specific power supply terminal block provided with the panel. When you power up the panel for the first time, the runtime loader window is displayed. The CP600 Eco panels are delivered from factory without HMI runtime. The system settings interface is accessible on this window and allows configuration of system options. This interface could be also accessible in the context menu when runtime application is started. Now, by selecting the option System Settings, access to the navigation menu on the left side of the screen to browse through the available options. Then, double-click on Network option to open the page where we could configure IP address of Ethernet interface and the other network settings. We need to click on edit the page to be able to write and change the value of IP address according to the network used. Once done, click on save to close and confirm your modification. The new values are active and could be used at once. The panel is now ready to install the runtime application from Panel Builder 600 Basic. In this example, the Automation Builder Suite has already been installed in this computer, and as a result a shortcut is seen on the desktop. After launching the software, the first step is to create a new project, using the new project icon. Specify a project name and a location where this project will be saved in this computer. Then next. First select in the list the PLC device of your choice in AC500 Eco CPU range, here PM554 Ethernet. In order to demonstrate an exchange between AC500 Eco CPU and the CP600 Eco, we are going to use some onboard inputs and outputs present on AC500 Eco CPU. After selecting the module onboard I.O., you will be able to configure the module and its channels and then map its inputs and outputs using the IO mapping tab. All available IO channels get automatically an IO address and then the symbolic names and descriptions could be defined. In our example, just some IO have been declared for an easy and fast configuration, but of course more IO could be added later in the project according to real application. After creating the configuration data, the IO channels with symbolic names will be automatically added to the global variable list in IEC 61131 application. Once the hardware configuration is done, a double-click on the application object to create the configuration file will proceed to open the IEC 61131 program editor. Now, we could start the programming part of the project. Here also the idea is to develop a very basic and simple program for demonstration. And later, same that for I.O. 
any future modification or improvement to the project could be possible. Add a new POU with the help of Add Object function, access just by right-clicking on the POUs folder. Once a POU is created, we could start writing a simple program for demonstration, using the function block diagram, FBD. Next action will be to add the necessary logics and attach to the inputs and outputs of AC500 Eco CPU previously defined. Don't forget, to create and define the PLC cycle task for your project in Task Configuration menu. The communication using ABB code sys protocol is possible only if a symbol file is present in CPU. This file includes all the variables which will be exchanged. At first, we need to select the download symbol file option in target settings tab of the project, in order to download this file, with program files, into the memory of the CPU. The next step, is to create and define the symbol file, let us look at the procedure to realize it, in project tab menu, and then options, select symbol configuration in navigation, and follow up the next steps of the configuration for adding the wishes variables of the project. In the end, close all windows by OK and then realize a new compilation to regenerate the symbol file with new variables. Use clean all and rebuild all actions in project menu. Pay attention, the symbol file has to be reconfigured only in case of variable renaming or addition of new variables. After completing the configuration, return an automation builder environment, in order to export the symbol file and allow to import it in panel builder 600 basic. Right-click on Application Object, select Export, and then Symbol File, and finally save it in a designated folder on your disk. Now, the next step, is to use the Symbol File previously created and stored, for the CP600 Eco Panel project. Panel Builder 600 Basic is included to ABB Automation Builder Engineering Suite. Benefits for users, will be to have only one global project including the both projects, AC500 and CP600 programs. By adding a new object in your project, you are able to launch the HMI application. After launching the HMI application by double-click, a new project will be automatically be opened. Select in the list of panel of your choice, here CP607, corresponding to 7 inch wide screen. According to your selection, the size of the pages of the project will be automatically adjusted to the panel size. We are now ready to use the software. The white page displayed corresponds to your working area. And on the left side, you can discover all the elements of your project in project view. We will now select a protocol. 
This is the first step before creating anything else. Double click on it to open the window parameters. Click on plus to access to the selection of all device drivers available with CP600 Eco panels. In the drop down list, select the desired protocol, ABB code says Ethernet driver, to be able to work directly with AC500 Eco variables configured in the symbol file. The second step is the definition of tags. The software mechanism uses them to access all device data. The tag editor can be used to create and manage all tags of your project. For an easy creation, click on the icon and port tags in menu toolbar of the tag editor. And follow up the next instructions. Look for location on computer where the previously created symbol file has been stored, and import it in tag editor. Now in lower part of tag window, you could decide by selecting one or more tags, which will be imported in your project. After importing action, the tags are copied to the project and listed in the upper part of the tag window. Now, one could start the creation of the design of the application, with the help of widget gallery, where you can find the collection of predefined graphic objects, called widgets. All widgets have properties that can be changed. We are going to use some basic widgets to demonstrate and simulate an HMI application. For instance, we can start by choosing a knob in the list of widgets, then by the drag and drop action, you position it on the page editor. As soon as the widget is on the page, the object properties appear on the right side, and they are accessible for configuration. The default properties could be changed or used like they are. To change a property value dynamically, you can attach them to tags or variables just by clicking plus on the property line and using the action attached to. Then when the tags editor is open, you can see and select the AC500 Eco DIO4 digital input previously imported to animate your widget and if necessary adapt its configuration. Especially pay particular attention to read write option associated to your tag. You can add a static text using label widget to identify the input. Repeat the process of adding, for another widgets. Chosen in the widget gallery, for instance, you can use the light widget to display status of the input. After that, use the same operation for the second AC500 Eco DI05 digital input. Further with the same way, use light widgets to display status of the two AC500 Eco Duo 0 and Duo 1 digital outputs. An HMI simulator tool allows you to test and debug your application. Before downloading your application to the CP600 Eco panel, or if you don't have panel available. In order to test and demonstrate your complete project with AC500 Eco plus CP600 Eco, you need to download in both the devices their respective project. Start by AC500 Eco CPU, and from IEC61131 application. Verify that the communication parameters are according to the IP addressing of your CPU. Connect the Ethernet connection between computer and CPU. And download your program after logged in action. The CPU should be in run mode operation to execute the PLC cycle. So verify on CPU that the run stop switch is in run position, and that run LED in the front face is displayed in green. 
save and store your project in EEPROM of CPU, using the option, Create Boot Project in Online Menu. Continue with CP600 Eco Panel, and connect now the Ethernet connection between computer and panel. From Panel Builder software, open communication parameters, using the download to target icon. In Window Display select or write the IP address corresponding to your panel and then select Download Action. The final operation is now to connect together the AC500 ECO and CP600 ECO, using Ethernet connection. And to test and verify the project using interaction on panel or on CPU. This concludes the presentation of a simple example project between an AC500 ECO and a CP600 ECO and any future modification or improvement to the project is possible. Before saving and closing the complete project, ensure that all part of Automation Builder have been correctly saved and closed. For further information and support, please be in touch with the contact details provided on the screen. Thank you for watching this video.